Good morning. Reading this morning from the book of Luke, chapter 7, the story of Jesus anointed by the sinful woman starts in verse 36. When one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to have dinner with him, he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. A woman in that town who had lived a sinful life learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. She came there with an alabaster jar of perfume, and she stood behind him at his feet, weeping. She began to wet, her, wet his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and poured perfume on them. When the Pharisees who invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who is touching him and what kind of a woman she is, that she is a sinner. And Jesus answered him, Simon, I have something to tell you. And Simon said, Tell me, teacher. Two people owed money to a certain money lender. One of them owed 500 denarii, the other 50. Neither of them had the money to pay him back, so he forgave the debts of both of them. Now which of them will love him more, was his question. And Simon replied, I suppose the one who had the bigger debt forgiven. And Jesus said, You have judged correctly. Then he turned toward the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I came into your house. You did not give me any water for my feet, but she wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but this woman from the time I entered has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. Therefore I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. As great as her love is shown, but whoever is forgiven little loves little. Then Jesus said to her, Your sins are forgiven. Then he goes on to say, Your faith has saved you. Why did this woman come to Jesus? Is the question when I was reading this. That, uh, what convicted her heart? Jesus is here today as the representation of his body and his blood are here in the, in the, the plates beside me. That, uh, why? are we here today? Why are we coming before Jesus Christ? What is in your heart? What has pricked you to say, I need to, to ask for forgiveness of my sins, or nobody needs to know what's on my heart? I guess that's the question before us today. How, at the end of this, Jesus described what he expects from us, the un, unending, undying love, how we show that love on a daily basis. And when we come here and we do this, what do we do tomorrow? These are questions that when you read these little stories, I guess they're stories, but when you dig deep into them, I, I'm still, what drove this woman to it? What drives us to Jesus Christ? Would you go to Father and pray with you, please?